All right, back for another beer review, and today I'm actually reviewing a beer from the new Guinness Open Gate Brewery and Barrel House in Hallthorpe, Maryland, just outside of Baltimore. And this is their Stout Aged in Bullet Bourbon Barrels. Yeah, that's actually the name of this. Uh, so apparently, this is their Antwerpen Stout, which is a foreign export stout that is aged in bullet bourbon barrels for eight months, comes in at 10% alcohol by volume, no IBUs listed. And at the time of review, this bottle is quite fresh, and that's because in the past week or so, this beer showed up. I was actually uh, at one of my favorite local bottle shops, Premier Gourmet in Amherst, New York. Quick shout out to them. All right, enough with the cheap plug. But if you're ever in the area, check them out. The beer manager there, Ethan, he knows his stuff. And he actually, when I, when I showed up, he was like, hey man, do you, did you see that this came in? And I was like, I had no idea that uh, beers from the Open Gate Brewery were already being distributed. So I was like, no, I did not. And I'm gonna grab that. So they have a little spiel here on the back. It says Guinness Antwerp and Stout aged at our new Guinness Open Gate Brewery and Barrel House in Baltimore, Maryland in bullet bourbon casks. And then they have some tasting notes. So Antwerp and Stout for a long time was just available in Belgium. Over the last couple of years, it has showed up in the US. So apparently that beer is brewed in Dublin, Ireland, and then it is shipped here and they actually put it in the uh, bullet bourbon barrels, like I said, for eight months, and then they uh, bottled it. It says right on the uh, label here, brewed in Dublin, aged in Baltimore. So one thing I will say, we'll talk about value at the end of the review, depending on how much I like it or dislike it or whatever. But this uh, bottle was 549. It is 11.2 fluid ounce bottle or a 330 milliliter bottle. I believe four packs, the MSRP are 19.99. So it is a bit pricey, especially considering it's Guinness, but if it's delicious, I guess I won't really care. So anyway, Let's get this into the glass and see what this one's all about. Because like I said, I'm pretty excited. This is cellar temp, this beer. So we're talking like, you know, in the mid 60s or so, give or take a few degrees. We will put this over here and we will give it a proper pour. So it's not pouring out all that dark. Now, I like Antwerp and Stout, although I found it to be a bit thin along with their 200th anniversary beer. I also thought that was a bit thin too. A lot of Guinness beers to me are thin. Uh, so I'm hoping that the barrel didn't thin it out too much, but yeah, that's more of, it's gonna come off on camera. I know as more of like a pitch black, but this is like a very deep dark brown color, you know, almost borderline black. There's a little bit of like a murky brown here, about a finger of a straight up tan to light brown head. Very creamy, but, uh, <laughs> bubbles. It's very compact. There are some bigger bubbles, but it plays the role, I think, of a foreign ex um, foreign export stout aged in uh, any kind of barrels, really. It kind of looks like it. When I cracked it, I could smell it, you know, from the, the foot or way, or foot or so it was away from my nose, and it smelled delicious, so let's get into it. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, there is a lot. So the barrel isn't, like, huge in your face, but it's nice. It has nuances of like a vanilla, uh, some char from the oak. There's also really heavy like caramel and toffee tones too. <sighs> sweeter milk chocolate we'll go with. Sweeter milk chocolate too. <sighs> a little bit of a dark fruit component, like a dark cherry. A little bit of raisin in there as well. Yeah, this is actually smelling quite nice, believe it or not. I'm trying to think, there's something else in there. I don't, maybe licorice, a little bit of like a black licorice too. Yeah, the nose is really nice. It, it's, it has a really mellow nose. Now I pulled out like six to eight different characters, but it's very mellow. Uh, they're there and there's nuances, but it's like the barrel isn't in your face. Neither is the base beer. It actually has a nice harmony uh, between all of the characters. Uh, I, I would say it smells cohesive, so I'm hoping it tastes the same. Anyway, let's get into it. Cheers. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, first off, it, it is thin. It is thin, and I say it in a lot of reviews. I'm turning into Paul over at PA Brew News at this point, uh, where I think every single stout is thin, but no, this is thin. This is 10%, and it definitely has, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's like 
medium to medium, yeah, medium to medium full, not, not even medium full, medium to higher side of medium body. It's not really approaching full at all. It's 10%. It's drinking like maybe a seven or 8% uh, stout. Mouthfeel is nice though. Has a decent amount of carbonation, but does have like a soft, smooth mouthfeel to it. Slides right down the throat. Very, e it's super easy to drink. I, I think it actually being thin might help it out a little bit for me. I mean, I know, I know I usually like my uh, Imperial Styles viscous and like syrupy and stuff, but this one, I don't know, kind of works. The flavors really do translate, but the one thing I want to emphasize with this beer is subtleties. That's all this beer is about. It has nuances of the barrel. There is some vanilla. There's a cherry uh, oak component. Some of those dark fruits, even that licorice, it all carries through. As it passes through the palate, the, um, you're left with a little bit of oak tannin dryness, and it cuts the sweetness of the forefront of the beer, and it makes you want to go back for more, which I'm going to. If there is such thing as an easy drinking 10% Stout, aged in barrels, this is it. But again, these are not big, bold flavors. I would say this is something you might expect for, from Guinness. One thing I am getting on uh, the palate is a little bit of like toasted coconut from the barrel, which you guys know that's my jam. So it's winning me over a little bit, uh, just, just from the toasted coconut. You really can't tell it's all that boozy. It is a little bit warming into the chest, going into the stomach, but like on the palate, aside from the barrel characteristics, it's not hot, so to speak. It's, you know, it's it's not boozy on the palate. There's there's no kind of alcohol detection uh, outside, like I said, it being a barrel. This is nicely, this is well-made, honestly. This is a well-made Imperial Stout. Uh, the knocks against it for me, obviously, are the thinness to the body. Um, again, I think it works well in this one, but... If I had to choose between a thin body or something being super like syrupy and viscous and super thick, I would want this to be like motor oil, Paul. I would. Uh, but that said, the flavors here are very nice. It's very well balanced and I'm digging it. Is it worth $5.50 a bottle? I think it is to try for yourself once. I don't think I would buy it again at this price point, but it is a good beer. So rating wise on the stout aged in bullet bourbon barrels from the new Guinness Open Gate Brewery and Barrel House in uh, Baltimore, Maryland. I wish I could do like, I could, I could do really whatever I want. I would give this honestly, I'm probably going to give it a straight four out of five. But if I could do like two, you know, like one decimal out, like I'd give it like a 4.1 or 4.15. I don't think it's quite to the 4.25 level for me but it's not just a four. So I'm gonna just say four for the sake of being a four, but it's a little better than that for me. Uh, the thinness is my main concern with this one. And just the subtleties from the barrel and the characters in general, it's nice, but I would want a little bit more intensity to get to that 4.25. I will say, if you see this in your area and you like barrel aged uh, imperial stouts of any kind, give it a try. It's worth trying once, as I said, but as far as like the value of it, it's not quite there for me. That said, it's a good beer. I like it. So appreciate you guys stopping by for a, another review. Until the next one, cheers.